but the idol will not last. Fierce dynastic hatreds are simmering and will soon erupt, dividing England and plunging the tower into the center of murder and intrigue. By the mid-15th century, the 62-year rule of England's reigning monarchs, the Lancaster family, is beginning to falter as a mysterious and debilitating disease strikes King Henry VI. He lost his wits and memory for a time, and nearly all his body was so uncoordinated and out of control that he could neither walk nor hold his head up. John Wethamstead, Abbot. Sensing the weakness of their enemy, the rival House of York attacks King Henry and lays claim to the throne. The ensuing clash between these two powerful families comes to be known as the Wars of the Roses because the Lancastrian coat of arms features a red rose and the Yorks contains one that is white. The intrigue of the times catapults the Tower of London into a new and sinister role. During the Wars of the Roses, the Tower became more of a state prison. The great families were warring with each other, and the tower actually became not only the, a place of imprisonment, but also a scene of regicide and fratricide. The first volley in the Wars of the Roses comes in 1461, when Yorkist King Edward IV usurps the throne and makes rival King Henry a prisoner of the tower. Mad Henry, as the enfeebled ex-king comes to be known, is held in the Wakefield Tower until 1471, when he is mysteriously found dead at the foot of his prayer altar. The official line on the death of Henry VI was that he died of pure displeasure and melancholy at being deposed, but examination of his skull in 1910 showed it had been cloven with some hard instrument, possibly a knife or an axe. It's virtually certain that Henry VI was murdered to get him out of the way. Edward begins a brutal campaign of silencing his political enemies. No one is safe, not even his own family. In 1478, Edward locks his brother George in the Devereux Tower, sentencing him to death for treason. The execution is carried out in a most unusual manner. He obviously had a bit of a reputation as a drinker. So it looks very much as if, yes, he was drowned in a vat of Malmsey wine. What a way to go. 